Such a J, and I'm coming at you, getting ready to put it all out there in pieces, baby. What's cracking with my babies, huh? What y'all out there doing, huh? Man, what are y'all out there doing? Y'all out there shining on them because they hate it, baby. Living your best life, doing what it is that you do, that you do, that you do. Oh my gosh. I know that y'all are out there being so thorough and so wise, baby. And why do I tell you that I know that you are out there being so thorough and so wise, man? First of all, because God made you that way. Yes. Shout out to you, God, for making all of us thorough and wise. Oh my gosh. He is a rewarder to those who diligently seek him. I'm trying to tell you this. Okay. This is just a touch day, baby. Y'all know I put it out there in pieces for you, all right? Now, what is the second reason why I tell y'all that I know that y'all are out there being so thorough and so wise, baby? <laughs> because y'all are out there listening to me, baby, and this is just a touch of J, all right? You got to be thorough, and you daggone sure got to be wise if you were out there listening to me, because y'all know I, you know I put it out there in pieces. I do what it is that I do, you know, and that makes you thorough and wise, too. So, look. Oh my gosh, I got a story to tell like Biggie. I got some stuff I got to talk to y'all about. But before I do, I got to give a shout out to my haters, my naysayers, my people who are in disbelief, okay? And what is it that I say to them, y'all? Hi, haters, because y'all need this to work too. Yes, y'all need this work too. And if you are just coming over to the Just a Touch of J experience and you just basically like, what is Just a Touch of J experience? What the heck is this? Who the heck is this? What's going on? Why this girl J out here giving a shout out to her haters and her naysayers and her disbelievers? All right, so look, let me explain this to you. I explain on every episode, but I have to do that, okay? Because some of y'all just listening for the first time. And it's Just a Touch of J. I got to put it out there in pieces for you. So, look, this is what happens, right? When you over there shining on them, bright like a diamond, you know, dropping dimes on them, you know, sometimes, right, your boy or somebody might be like, wait a minute, hold on, who that over there shining on them, okay? Or, you know, some girl, you know, somebody be like, hold on, what's she over there doing shining on them? You know, it's like they start peeking. You know, because, like, the light is shining so bright, like a diamond. So they like, wait a minute, what's going on over here? What's going on over there, right? Because it's shining so bright. So what happens is, in all that shine, okay, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Sometimes, you know, God is just putting you out there in pieces for him. You know, he says, I'm going to prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies. I'm going to make them your footstools. Okay, I'm going to anoint your head with oil. Your cup will run over. You know, when you're doing the will and doing what it is that I tell you to do. And what's going to happen is, is that, you know, everybody going to be able to watch you eat. 
Okay, so sometimes that light just shining so bright. It's just everything that God's displaying for. Okay, now you following? So he's putting you out there in pieces and it's attracting them. All the naysayers, all the non-believers, you know, they're like, wait a minute, what's going on, right? Okay, like me with my issue that I got going on. You know, I got some health issues going on. You know, so people like, they want to know what's going on. They're like, wait a minute, what happened? You know, how she handled? Oh my gosh, you know, they want to know. And God is putting all these pieces out there. And what happens is they get blessed by the message. So instead of getting mad at them, you go, hi, haters, because y'all need this to work too. Yes, y'all need this work too. They must need that work too. So that's why you always say how the haters come around. So anyway, look, I told you I got a story to tell. Like Biggie, I got to drop a dime on y'all. But before I do, have y'all been going over to my name is R O N I seven six on Instagram, baby? Have y'all been doing that? Yeah, I've been putting things out there in pieces for y'all. Just giving y'all a little inspiration. You know, I'm getting back to the swing of things. But this is day three. I am doing 21 days of straight podcasting. Every day I'm telling you something that I'm thankful for. Okay, it's very therapeutic for me. It helps me along my journey and my process of healing. And plus, it's going to help you. All right, that's number two. And number three, God's going to get the glory. That's number one, really. But, you know, he's getting the glory. You know, and just, you know, it's just such a prosperous, fantastic thing. You know, and then you get to get the news and the updates. And you get to, you know, see, you know, God work through my life and how he's going to heal me, you know, you know, cause I'm already healed. The healing process is what you're going to see. Okay. So that's what I'm doing. Today is day three. I'm going to drop a dime on you, but first we're going to skate on over to the left, to the left, to the left. So I can shine bright like a diamond and tell y'all about making love in these kitchen. Yeah. I told y'all I've been making love in these kitchen. I'm going to tell y'all every single day. How I am doing better with making love these kitchen. So today I tried cauliflower, child. Didn't do too good with cauliflower. I started feeling little things crawling on me. And if you don't know about that, it's like the histamine that starts releasing, okay? I have a histamine issue because I have some intestinal issues that are going on. And they also think it might have something to do with a hernia. Mm, don't know. Mm, but this is just a touch of day, babe. We're getting down to the nitty gritty, Okay. But um, got some leaky guts and things like that going on, intestinal impermeability. So I'm not able to really eat like that. So I tried cauliflower, and I didn't do too good with cauliflower. I had like two pieces. And y'all know I used to make the chocolate cover cauliflower cookie. So look, this is just a touch of day. I got to get right back to how I was doing, okay? So I get these recipes out there for y'all. So, you know, I was able to eat it. Okay, I was able to tolerate it, but just like the histamine was coming up. And it might be because also I had um, turkey steaks. Like, they're kind of like cutlets. But when they cut the meat a certain type of way, it uh, it puts more histamine on it. Okay, like if I eat ground turkey, it's grinded up. It's more of a process. Okay, like when you do turkey steaks, they take the skin off, they do all this stuff, and they chop it up. So, actually... I can smell it, okay? Look, yo, this is just a touch of day. It's so thorough how God, like, gave us these innate abilities. But when it's histamine, more histamine on different parts of the meat, I can smell it. I can tell. The meat smells different. It's higher in histamine. Now, look, yo, this is just a touch of day. Before... I could smell it really, really strong where it was just too much because it causes like increased sense of smell. Okay. All right. Cause your histamine is responding, is responding, but, um, yeah, now it's not that bad, you know, at all. Okay. Before it was like a hundred. Now it's like maybe like a two or three, but I can still like, you know, on a scale of one to two, hundred, you know, but I can still like smell it a little bit. It smells different. So that could have been why, because maybe my histamine was just up a little bit and, you know, I have to take supplements before I eat, you know, that break down certain things. Um, toxic prevent, Shout out to Toxic Prevent. Save my life. Okay. Listen. All right. I'm so glad one of my followers told me to try it. And it has been doing me well for the last three weeks. So that's how I was able to gain weight and everything like that. But, you know, I'm getting back to making love these kitchen. So that's basically kind of like the new stuff that I tried today. 
and um, I'm getting there. All right, so just keep me in prayer. All right, so now moving on over to the left, to the left, to the left, so I can keep shining bright like a diamond. And tell y'all about the Just a Touch of J Fitness. Yeah, so look, I tell y'all about the Just a Touch of J Fitness um, page and all that and what I got going on, you know, the 400 fitness plan that I created because I was bodybuilding for like six months straight, y'all. Mama body was looking like a cloud, 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 all right? I lost all that. Yeah, ain't none of that popping off no more. Still got some muscle tone and stuff like that. But today I am doing my band exercise, okay? So it's some digestion exercises in that because I have to work on my digestion. I'm also, I do 100 two-step leg exercises. I do squat from sides. I squat and then I kick my legs out from side to side and it's 100 of those. I use my TRX band. Um, I do good morning ab bends for my glutes. There's like a glute thrust and that helps with your legs really good and your butt. Okay, and y'all will see me doing it and then I do the tabletop band squeezes. So those are good too, you know. So anyway, like I said, this is just a touch of J. That's a little bit of my fit tips. And I'm getting back to doing Jay's fit tips on Monday too. So I'll be showing y'all. You'll be able to see the videos on my app and everything. I'm telling y'all. This is just a touch of J. And I'm putting all this out there in pieces for you, baby. You are going to see me rough. You are going to see me rugged. You are going to see me raw. You are going to see me flustered. You're going to see all of that, okay? And you're going to see the Just a Touch of J Fitness clothing, too, that I'm going to be wearing. So y'all can keep on purchasing them because I'm dropping my new one. Like I told y'all yesterday, Animalistic in Nature. You can already purchase it, and people have, okay? In the link in my bio on everything. Google Just a Touch of J, all right? It is part of my fitness goal plan for everybody. And it's in my link tree. So just check it out. This is Just a Touch of J, baby. And I'm just putting that out there a piece for you, okay? Now moving on over to the left, to the left, to the left, so I can shop right like a diamond right. And we got to talk about the Just to Touch the J app. Like I told y'all, whole thing getting revamped, doing more stuff on that. And then we also have Taylor's Fit, okay? That's going to be dope, the guy's fit. And then I also had the Just to Touch the J cannabis line for all you guys who like to do what it is that you do. You can also purchase the Just to Touch the J cannabis papers. They called All You Need Is Just a Touch of the J. Yes. So you can purchase those too. Click the link in the bio. Go up in my link tree. All right. And check it out. You can purchase. Thank for everybody who has been purchasing. I love my babies. Now, I got a store to sell like Biggie. So the first thing I tell y'all all the time is now, with episode three, what I'm thankful for. So I go to the doctor's today, right? See my chiropractor. He tests me on a couple foods. Now what he does is he does the magnetic muscle test, okay? I don't know if you're familiar with that where you use a magnet and you take the food and you put the food against you and you use a magnet. You use a couple other things and you test your muscle strength. And if your arm is strong, when you put your arm out in front of you, then you can try these foods. Now when you try these foods, sometimes they might work for you. Sometimes they may not, but it's better that you at least know that you can try them. And it has worked. Oh my God. So good for me. Okay, so today he said, let's try broccoli. So I can try broccoli. I'm going to be able to try bok choy. And do you all remember in Make a Love Beats Kitchen when I did that bok choy? Oh my gosh, yes. You all got to go back and check that out. That was amazing. Okay, I did that for one of my doctor friends when I was doing his whole meal prep. Mm-hmm. That was so good for him. I made like a nice little sauce out of it. Oh gosh, with some tofu, fried tofu. It was amazing. Um, but this is just such a let's go back to <laughs> what I was talking about. So bok choy, we're gonna be able to try that. Also, mascarpone cheese. Yeah, I use that when I stuff some salmon, you know, with my collard greens and all that other stuff. I can't go off those sequins, but baby, yes, I stuff chicken with that. Check that out on Make a Love Beast Kitchen too, but mascarpone cheese. Who would have thought? God kept telling me mascarpone cheese. So mascarpone cheese. And what else did we get? Um, Basil and it was something else. 
I can't remember, but I'll let y'all know tomorrow, okay? But this is just a touch of day. We did that, and I'm thankful, okay, that I was able to experience that. Also, I'm thankful, and I'm only supposed to tell you one thing, but I'm just telling you I'm thankful about this doctor's experience that I had. I got on the rollers. I never got on the rolling table. Like, you lay on the table, and you put your legs up on this thing. Like, then it goes up underneath your knees, and then, like, it rolls all down your back. And my back had been bothering me, the middle of my back. Like, that's where your liver and all that stuff, your vagus nerve comes together. All those things come together. But, like, I have histamine, like, right in the middle of my back. And I'm not taking the antihistamines no more. I'm just taking one thing, the toxic support. So sometimes the histamine and the oxalates, they rest inside of your your body in certain places. And mine is right in, like, my upper back a little Okay, and it's just been like bothering me. Feels like intense, like pain. On a scale of one to 10, maybe like a four or five. And it comes and goes a lot of times, especially when you're eating. So look, I got on that table. That table just felt so good. Yeah, so I was like, okay, we're going to do that. Then he aligned me. That was an amazing thing too. And when I came home, I was just like, oh man. After I tried the cauliflower, I got a little down because I was like, dang, I was really wanting the cauliflower. I'm like, dang, God, because, you know, things are limited to me, y'all. They're limited. Like, when I tell you this, like, but, you know, I, I really can't complain. But when I tell you it's limited, it's limited. Like, my diet is literally like, you know, you can have this part of the turkey, that 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 part of the turkey. And then you got, you know, two grains you can have, white rice and white rice pasta. And you're not supposed to have grains really at all, you know, especially in my situation. But it's keeping me, you know, um, with my carbohydrates and stuff like that. I'm supposed to eat more vegetables, but... I only have, I think maybe like four that I know of right now that I use in moderation. So I had got a little down, like, dang, man, I really wanted the cauliflower, right? So I'm talking to God and I'm like, you know, well, if you don't want me to have it, that means I ain't supposed to have it right now. And I tolerated it, but I had a little issue with it. So I said, okay, what happens is when you have an issue with that, you go back. In a couple of weeks or, or, or a week later, you try it again. Because what worked one week, what didn't work one week, will probably work in like a week or two if you can kind of tolerate it. So I said, okay, I'm moving all along, right? But I still was like, man, any of y'all out there trying stuff and you just like, man, I thought that was going to work and it don't work. And you be feeling like, like, oh, man, like, I'm damn if I do, I'm damn if I don't. I was kind of feeling like that today, right? I mean, this is just a touch day. I'm just putting that out there in pieces for you. I got up, you know, on doctor days, because sometimes I had two and three appointments on one day. You know, doctor days, I don't always eat all the time like I'm supposed to eat, you know, because I'm running around. I got to take these supplements and all of my food has to be cooked fresh. There's nothing I can carry with me. You know, it either has to come straight out of the freezer and it can't go in a refrigerator. No leftovers because histamine gets on all food when it sits in leftovers. So, like, this thing is strategic. Okay? So, I'm like, I was really feeling like, man, any of y'all out there feel like that, though, sometimes? Like, how I was feeling today? Well, listen. I'm sitting back and I'm like, what am I going to talk to y'all about today? And I go on Facebook, right, setting up all my stuff, things I'm grateful for, telling everybody how all my test results came back um, normal. And you'll get to see that post on my name is R-O-N-I-7-6 on Instagram. Okay, I talked about it yesterday. So check out episode two. This is episode three. But I was, you know, on Facebook. And then I seen one of my friends that had sickle cell, right? She got sickle cell. Right, and this is what her post said. You know, I got I got to put it out there in peace for y'all. I had to screen shot it, screen snap, screen shot, what y'all call it. But anyway, this is what it says. It says I have a catheter that allows me to have access for blood transfusions and other things. This catheter starts in my hip, then goes to my spine, then into my chest, and finally to my heart. I'm on my way into surgery to have the catheter replaced, right? All that I know is that it's worth prayer. Please pray for me prayerfully. 
this procedure goes well in Jesus' name. Thanks, fam. Right? And I started to think. Then she writes, I want to thank you all for prayers and support. Facebook fam, you took time to join your faith with mine in Jesus' name. My heart is encouraged by words and love you shared. The procedure went really well on Tuesday. Hallelujah. Unfortunately, I was admitted into the hospital yesterday due to fever, sickle cell crisis, fluid overload due to heart failure, etc. I'm currently receiving an exchange of blood transfusions. I ask that you continue to exercise your faith and pray for me. I'm believing God for complete healing in my body. I don't have a fancy word, but I do have a testimony of how faithful God has been through my life. I choose to trust God, my father, again. Thank you for loving me and prayer and all that you gave out physically, spiritually, etc. is returned to you. Be blessed, everyone. Black love. And I started to think. And y'all know what happens when I start thinking. I started to think about how today, after I came from the doctors, my daughter said, Mommy, Valentine's Day is coming. I said, it is. She's like, yeah, I want to treat you. Because she has to take me to the doctor because I can't drive myself. Sometimes I get a little lightheaded. And when I drive, sometimes my joints they still be like acting up. Remember I told you I couldn't walk for like a month and a half. Couldn't go to the bathroom. Could you imagine? Like couldn't do number two. Gosh, nothing comes in, nothing goes out, you know. But sometimes my legs be cramping up sometimes. I could still walk, you know. I do like three or four miles sometimes every other day or something like that. But they cramp up sometimes. Today they a little crampy too. So I have issues with like driving. So she, she drives me. You know, and she goes, um, you know, it's Valentine's. I'm like, when is it? She's like, I think it's Sunday, you know, but I made a nail appointment. I want to get my nails fixed. You know, you want to get your feet done. And I'm thinking, I don't know, because I haven't been inside a nail salon since, you know, October. And the smell might get to me. And I got on two face masks, but, you know, I'm like, let's see. So I go up in there, right? I have faith in God and I go in there. And I sit down, I'm like, dang. I sit far away from where they're doing the nails at. You know, they love me there. They used to shut the shop down just for me and my daughters just to come in there when COVID started. You know, they would shut it down for us. You know, they they love me. They'd be like, make a love of these kitchens in here. You know, don't tell nobody, Jill, that we closed the whole shop for you. But they'll do that, right? So she said, you know, why you ain't tell me? And I'm like, it's okay. You know, so um, we I go and I sit down and... He starts doing my feet. And he said, what do you want done? I said, we got to be very careful because of what I got going on. He said, oh, my gosh, you lost so much weight. And I'm explaining to him, you know, what's going on. And shout out to my nail, to my nail tech, Mimi. She already knew, you know, and everything. But, you know, they were treating me really nice, right? And, I'm, and I sit down, and he goes, what you want? And I go, well, maybe lavender because my soap is lavender. I said, let's try this. You know, I asked God about God. I said, you go ahead and try. It was like a sea salt scrub. So I put my feet in the water and I could feel the irritation a little bit. I could feel kind of like my histamine. Right. But I'm like, you know, I'm just see how bad this is. So it wasn't bad. It kind of subsided and went away and he did my feet and, you know, he scrubbed them and it just felt so good. And I got the massage and the chair, you know, I was feeling all good and everything. You know, like this is just such a day. OK, I ain't had these feet done since October. All right. You know, like this was this was getting rough, you know, so I'm like because I'm not able to do. Um, use products and stuff like this goes down to lotion deodorant everything y'all okay they couldn't rub lotion on me I can't put oil on me I can only use right now on my skin um shea butter or organic shea butter and I use that every other day but for about two months I didn't put nothing on my skin okay so look as I'm sitting up there I'm like gosh I'm thankful so I'm like you know as I read what she had going on I'm like, wow, you know, I went in the nail salon today and I was able to get my feet done. I've never caught Corona through any of this. I haven't caught a cold at all. My cat skin on my head is fine. My cat skin on my abdomen was fine. 
my uterus, when they told me I had a mass, it turned out to just be fibroids. That's fine. All of my blood work, all of my vitamin levels came up significantly within weeks. That's fine. You know, I have something else that's going on with my sodium, but they just say they think I'm drinking too much water. So I had to cut back off of that. And I was doing like a gallon and a little bit more than that a day. And that's just way too much. Okay, so I cut back off of that. And I told you all about that yesterday, those pieces on episode two. But I just started to think. I've never been in the hospital admitted for this. I started to think about her with the heart catheter that goes through her groin, that goes all of this and her heart failure and just everything. And it made me think, sometimes we get a little upset about something like, I couldn't have cauliflower today because I used to eat chocolate covered cauliflower cookies like um, two and a half months ago. And I'm like, I can't have cauliflower, but yet she's like, pray for me because I'm getting transfusions and I'm in sickle cell crisis. I used to, she used to be my patient at the hospital. Y'all know I'm in nursing and all that. She used to be my patient. And I remember I used to treat her when she used to go in crisis, you know, and that's no joke. And I just began to think about, yeah, I felt like I had things crawling all over me for hours and I could smell 50 feet away, but I never had to get a blood transfusion. I never had to be hospitalized. Yeah, I couldn't see and I couldn't walk and it was dizzy and I felt like things were stabbing me in my head, but I don't have heart failure. And she's believing in Jesus name for complete healing. And she has lived a very, very long time. This is really like one of my good friends. And I started to think about how all my blood work and all my biopsy tests came back normal everything my adrenal gland now is functioning the way that it's supposed to you know everything and I had to come on here and I had to tell y'all sometimes we (laughs) get upset about the little things but the little things don't stop us from the great things so if you are somebody that's out there right now and you like, tag man, it's just not working. Everything I try ain't working and you kind of down on yourself. Remember, it's somebody somewhere that's worse off than you. And we got to learn how to be grateful and thankful. Yeah, we really, really do. Like this podcast is about being grateful and being thankful because like I was really like, oh my gosh, like I ain't had no cauliflower today. Why can't eat the cauliflower? I was hungry, you know, and I'm just like, dang, I'll just be eating meat, you know? And look, I ain't had meat in years, like two years and I'll just be eating meat, you know? And I'm like, but I can eat meat, you know? I talked to y'all about walking on your path yesterday. You know, a lot of y'all out there and y'all can walk. Y'all can breathe. You can brush your teeth. God woke you up this morning because you out here, you listening to me. And there's so many of y'all. Oh my God, it's worldwide. I'm on like 30 different podcast streaming networks. And I told you it was 80K, which is one of them months ago. Trust me, the Justin Tessa J podcast is still pop, 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 popping like popcorn, baby. Y'all still out here listening to me. Okay? So it ain't like, you know, it done fell off and then like you ain't listening. You're listening more now. All right? So it's like, jeez. You know, I know. It's K's and 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 K's of y'all. Thousands and thousands of y'all out here listening to me. And I know somebody out there like not liking their life. But I need you to understand. The predicament that you are in right now don't define your destiny. No, it doesn't. At all. Let me take y'all a walk down to Moses, because I always got to give y'all some Bible, because I love my Lord, Savior Jesus Christ. You know, Moses was high, and he's about 80 years old when he walked into his destiny. That's in Joshua. Okay, hold on, let me make sure. 
Let me make sure. Let me make sure. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm going to tell you no story. I'm going to tell you no lies. Sorry. Exodus. <laughs> Exodus. Joshua is when Moses is dead. And they start talking about, you know, God being with them like he was with Moses. Okay. But Exodus. Check it out. Read it. I was studying it. It's chapters round four. You know, start from the beginning. It's, it's really dope. All right. But Moses, you know, found Moses and Moses was scared. Hi, he had killed somebody and everything. God like, look, I need you to go ahead. I need you to do this. And Moses like, nah, they ain't going to believe me. You know, he didn't believe in himself and all that other type of stuff. But he wound up going ahead and doing what he had to do when he walked in his purpose at that time. And sometimes we look at what we have right now that's in front of us. And we're not happy with how our life is. Like me, I was like, man, I want that cauliflower. You know, I was just making chocolate cup of cauliflower cookies. I really wanted that cauliflower. I wasn't happy at that moment. Any of y'all out there not happy with your moment right now? Look, Moses didn't, he wasn't happy. But he wound up doing great things. Great things. Because he trusted in God. And that's what you got to do, too. I always tell you guys, trust in God. And don't look at the little thing that you might be upset about. Because, like I said, somebody else is out there right now going through more than what you went through. Like, for instance, let me tell you this, too, before I go. Because, you know, I got to wrap this thing up. I'll be doing a blog podcast and stuff. Uh, uh, uh. Okay? So, one day, right, when I couldn't walk, I got a story to tell like busy, like Biggie. got to tell y'all the truth, right? Y'all know I don't edit my podcast or nothing like that. But, anyway, this is what happened. I was feeling real down that day. They could call my mom and my dad, like, I can't do this. Please come get me. Like, seriously. And my dad had this firm talk with me, like, come on. You know, and I'm like, I keep losing weight. And I'm like, almost like 112 pounds on, 112 pounds with like clothes on, okay? And shoes. And I'm like, I can't do this today. I just can't. You know, I'm crying the whole night. He like, Veronica, coming by my middle name. Okay, that's what he calls me. He's like, Veronica, listen, okay? It'll be okay. Even if you only gain five pounds a month, it'll be okay. You're going to get it back. But let's say you gain it every two weeks. That's 10 pounds in a month, Veronica. In a couple months, you'll be able to be back where you're at. And I'm like, but look, you can see my collarbone and I can't eat and I'm crying and I'm upset. Just come and get me. He was like, no, Veronica, come on. You could do this. He was trying to encourage me, you know, come on. And I called my mom and I'm like, I can't do it. So my mom like, we don't give up. We don't quit. And I'm like, this is too much. You know, I'm going through. And then my sister calls me. Shout out to you, Jen, if you listening. I love my sister. Oh, my gosh. And she got her own little thing she got going on. But she working through. And she's like this. <coughs> what's wrong, Ronica? And she called me Ronica or Rocker. She like, what's up? Or Ronnie sometimes. And I'm just like, I'm going. I'm, having, I'm not having a good day. And she's like, well, come on now. You're not in the hospital. Did you go outside today? And I'm like, I'm getting ready to go outside right now. You know, I'm mad. You know, again, complaining like I was with the cauliflower today. And I'm like, Phew. and she's like, Ronica, you couldn't even walk outside before. So look, I go down the steps. I get myself together and wrap all up. This is about a month ago, a month and a half ago. And I'm getting ready to go outside, right? And I open up the door and guess who's in front of me? Like out in the street, this old dude, my neighbor, he out there with his cane, with a boot on his foot, and he walking. And he goes, hey. And I'm like, hey. And I ain't seen him before. I, didn't, I had never seen him, right? And this is when my dream of and everything was all messed up. So now I'm real emotional. I'm like, he's out there, you know. He's walking and I'm complaining. And she like, see? You couldn't even walk. And here goes somebody out there walking. So I come out there, right? And he's just walking with his little thing with his boot on his foot. And his other leg is like messed up. You could just tell. So I'm like, you know what? If he walking, I'm going to just start walking. So I start walking, right? And then I see him cut up the street and come back down. That he goes, you okay? And I was crying as I was talking to my sister on the phone. And she was like, 
like this. She was like, Ronnie, stop crying. You know, answer. And I'm like, no, I'm not okay. You know, I got some problems with my stomach. And, you know, I'm trying to eat and I can't really eat. And I was like, well, how are you? And he was like, first, it's going to be okay. Everything's going to work out all right. And he was like, I'm okay. I just got out of the hospital. I was in there for six months for my diabetes, my legs and stuff. You know, he was like, I came out here. I live with my daughter. I said, you do? He said, yeah, I used to be a chef. I said, oh, my God, you know, we got something in common. I said, you walk all the time? He said, yeah, you know, I'm trying to walk and stuff. And it just made me think. And so he keeps on walking. I'm like, okay, I'll talk to you next time. Maybe we can walk together. And my sister's on the phone like, see, you complaining and stuff and you upset about the little thing. But look at the big thing that you already got blessed from. And he out here walking. And I started to think like how I'm thinking today. I had to share that with y'all. You know that day I kept seeing him walk, so I kept on walking. And before I knew it, I had walked almost four miles. And I was like, I ain't walk. I couldn't walk. A minute ago, I just couldn't walk. Like, literally, like, I couldn't walk. Okay? And now I just walked four miles? Look, man, this is just a touch of day. If y'all are out there and you think you got a, a rough life, anything you got going on, I told y'all I got a story to tell like Biggie. This is real right here. Don't quit on yourself. Don't give up. Don't look at the little thing. Trust God. Don't complain about it. Know that this too shall pass. Okay? Just like with Moses, he got over it. You're going to get over it too. The same way I'm getting over it and I'm healing. And healing is a process. If you're sick, you're shut in. Or, or you lost somebody. Or you got a drug issue or depression thing. Whatever you got going on. If not, if your life is amazing and you're just struggling just a little bit. Because we all struggling somewhere. Just, that's a little thing. Remember my friend, she got heart failure. She's in sickle cell crisis. She got a catheter that goes into her heart, all this stuff. You know, sometimes we complain about things and other people's life is much worse. All right, this is just a touch of Jay. I just had to put all of that out there in pieces for you. I'm thankful. Yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and skate on over to this left, this left, this left. I got to get on up out of here. You want to know why? Because mama got to eat and I got to take the pills and I got to wait 30 minutes, okay? And then I can eat. And I'm going to have just a chicken thigh, you know? And then later, what I like to do is I got this, um, and I just mix it with water. It's just coconut flour, 365, this Whole Foods brand. You know, shout out to Whole Foods. They ain't paying me or nothing like that, but they saved my life too. <laughs> and then I just mix it with a little water. That's it. And then it like puffs up like a cake because I can't have sugar, but it's kind of sweet and I like it. So it's like a little treat. So I'm going to have that and that and that's it. All right. And this is just a touch of Jay. You know, I had to put them pieces out there for y'all, but it's getting late. And I had, you know, drop a dime on y'all real quick. So how y'all want me to end this? Okay. You got the lesson for the day. You got all the stuff that comes out there in pieces and everything else. But how you want me to end this? It's day three of the 21 days. Y'all want me to go like this? Who is this? Come on, y'all. What is this? What is this? What is this? This is just a touch of J. <laughs> y'all know I put it out there in pieces for you. That wasn't quite a Janet Jackson, Barry White voice. But, you know, it was a little thoroughly wise. It was a little sexy, you know, a little sexy. You know, but I had to put that out there in pieces for y'all. So, I end it with three things, okay? First thing I say to y'all is, don't let nobody make you feel like you ain't thoroughly wise. Please don't. Don't let nobody make you feel like that. And please don't make yourself feel like that. And if you are out here down on yourself about something small like me, you know, the cauliflower and things like that, and you got other people out here that got, you know, a lot of stuff going on, you know, recheck your process of thinking. Because sometimes we be off. That was what I was talking about yesterday. Okay, recheck that. You know, you got to be grateful for the little things. I'm able to eat meat now. When able to eat meat, I'm able to eat eggs. I couldn't even touch an egg in November. Okay, seriously. 
Okay, I got my feet done and all of that. You know, I, I, I was making myself feel like I wasn't wise today a little bit thorough. And you know, if you out there doing that, check yourself because you might be wrecking yourself. Okay, now skating on over to number two. What I tell y'all is shine on them because they hate it, baby. Yes, let that little light on the inside of you shine bright like a diamond. Woo, yeah, shine bright like a diamond. Woo, shine bright like a diamond, like Rihanna. Shout out to you, girl, if you listening, because you never know who listening to you. Oh, my gosh. She's so thorough. She out there shining on them. You know, because they hate it, baby. And that's what y'all got to do. Do not dim your light. Okay? For anybody or for yourself. Don't do it. Shine bright. Okay? Live your best life. Smile. Tomorrow ain't promise. And don't get upset about the little things. Okay? Please. All right? I told you why. <laughs> All right, and the third thing that I tell y'all is <sighs> spread love because it's the Brooklyn way. And this is just a touch of J. I had to put that out there in pieces for you. You got to spread love. It's reciprocity. Okay, sometimes we get so callous because the past hurts and things like that and things we got going on in our own life and we don't want to spread the love. No, spread the love. Okay, whatsoever you do, it's going to come back to you. God is not a lie. Whatever you reap, you sow. Whatever you sow, you reap. Okay? That's the way that it goes. Reciprocity. So put the love out there. You won't get the love back. Give the love. Especially, like, if you ain't out here spreading love, it's in Co- We got out here in this corona. Like, like, yo, and it's getting worse and worse and worse. Like, it's a lot going on. Okay? You got to be really, very careful. All right? Like, Seriously. Okay, you do. You know, so look, just spread some love. Like, thank God you ain't got it. If you did have it, you okay now. Okay, you know, or whatever. You know, because that corona ain't no joke. But just spread love. Just look at life differently. Just get some love. All right? So anyway, look, I got to get out of here. Quick recap. All of that. Basically, what's just for me to tell you to appreciate life. Okay, I was sitting back looking at the cauliflower cookie. I mean, looking at the yeah, the cauliflower cookie chocolate covered child had like the nash on it. It was like a berry sauce. Oh my god, I can't have none of those berries now. <laughs> I struggle with blueberry juice, but Lord, I was thinking about it, like dang, I'm good with cauliflower. You know, some of y'all looking at the little things too, and there's some people out here they got great things that they going through. You know, and they strong. You know, sometimes we look at the little stuff. So I want y'all to be grateful for the little things that you might struggle with. Still be grateful. You know, like you you literally still got to be grateful. Like seriously. All right. Um, let me share the scripture with y'all. Second Corinthians 12, 9. And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. So what he's saying is, I believe that this is Paul. Most gladly, therefore, I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. So basically what he's saying is, is that God is, God is saying to him, my grace is sufficient for thee. My strength is made perfect in weakness. So when you're weak, God's strength is, is made perfect. So what he's saying is, Paul So he's going to glory in all of his infirmities and the things that he has going on because he knows that God's with him and God is going to be strong when he's weak. So just take that with you. When you're weak and you're thinking like, man, you know, you're going through stuff because these little things. Understand that God is, he's going to be strong when you're going through and everything going to be all right. And this is just a touch of day, baby. I just had to put that out there peace for you. So look, I'm about it here. Okay. I love my babies. That was it. I'm just on here talking. I'm just trying to give you all these pieces. Be grateful. I love you. I got some songs coming up next. Check them out. Little skits. All that type of thing. New music coming. I'm in here working. Check me out on Beat Break Radio. I have done two co-hosts for them. Where I did the morning show co-host. Interview um, Andre. Okay. The bully. You know the guy from R. Kelly in the public announcements. Couple 
couple other people I done interviewed. Got a dope Valentine's Day special interview. I'm going to be on late nights and early in the morning. Check me out on the morning show, too. All right? This is just a touch of J. Okay? Just dropping a dime on you, putting things out there in pieces, because I always got a story to tell like Biggie. This is day three of my 21-day challenge, and I'm a body here. I'll be back when I got something else to say. Wait a minute, y'all. Hold on one second. This is just a touch of J. Y'all remember them songs? Listen, I got another one for you, so stay tuned, right? Because all he needs is just a touch of J. (laughs) That's what's up next, all right? I love my babies. Check it out. My baby like it when I do it like that. All he needs is just a touch of J. Pieces for you. Pieces for you. Y'all know I'm thrilled and wise, right? right. All he needs is just a touch of J. Just a touch of J. Y'all hear that? Pieces for you. I just want to talk to y'all for a little bit. Shout out to the love of my life. You know you're fine, right? Y'all hear that? <laughs> this is just a touch of your baby coming at you, putting it all out there in peace. I just had to drop a bomb on my life. Flex. Oh my gosh, just that work, baby. And baby, you know you're fine, right? You're fine, right? <laughs> Hey y'all, this is Just a Touch of J and I'm coming at you. Making love in V's kitchen. Y'all hear that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. You better download that Just a Touch of J app. 